Yo, this is Chuck, and welcome to the How to Defeat Dudes video blog. And also, coincidentally, welcome to La Casa de Chuck's Mama. Now, this being the Christmas season, and a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all y'all, by the way, I decided I should fly home, check out my mom's new place. As you can see, we just got boxes all over the place, you know what I'm saying? And generally just help her get moved in and settled. And also, seeing as how I don't have to look like my headshots for at least a month or so, I also decided I should grow out a full head of hair, just to make sure I still got it. What do y'all think? Keep or get rid of it? Keep or get rid of it? As much as I like it though, I'm gearing up for my next action film as soon as I get back to Tokyo, which means I gotta look like a badass, which means of course I'm gonna have to shave it again. Anyway, I'm transgressing. Seeing as how the flight from Tokyo to Michigan is like 11 hours, that gave me the chance to sit down and read something that I've been meaning to read for a very long time. This book, Tunnel Visions, Memoirs of a Mixed Martial Arts Champion by Ryan Bow. Now, if you're into MMA, you probably already know who Ryan is. And if you're not into MMA, then I'd recommend you actually find out who he is, because Ryan is an amazing guy. And when Ryan dropped me a line and was like, hey Chuck, my new book's coming out, I was wondering if you'd just like to give it a read and then see what you think, I was like, I'd love to. The reason being, is that even if I do fancy myself to be a caramel colored kung fu fighting action hero, there was a time back in the day where Chuck was a ring fighter. And Ryan was also a ring fighter. But I fought in Taekwondo, he fought in MMA. So then I thought to myself, okay, cool. Now here's my chance to sit down and read what it's like to strive for greatness and to step into the ring and then to just fight your way through battles and struggles as an MMA fighter from inside the head of a professional MMA fighter. That's really cool. Let me check this out. And after having a chance to read it, let me tell you guys, it was all that and more. So if you're fans of MMA and you were actually following Ryan, then this will give you a chance to sit down and read what all of his fights were like from his own eyes, as well as all of the training and struggles that he went through for each fight. Now let me tell y'all why it is, among other reasons, that Ryan is such an amazing guy. Now for starters, Ryan is, like myself, a brother from Michigan who went all the way to Japan without knowing anybody, without knowing anything about the language, and then ended up becoming an international shoot boxing champion. Not easy. Not only did he do all this without any kind of financial backing and having to learn the language by himself, which coincidentally he ended up learning to speak much better than I did, but he did it with a cyst in his brain that prevents him from having peripheral vision. Now I can tell y'all myself that trying to become any kind of a martial arts champion in anything is not an easy thing to do, but doing it without any kind of peripheral vision is incredible. Not to mention the whole lack of funding thing and the language barrier and everything else. Now aside from the fact that this is a really cool book to read for all of the technical things that you learn about mixed martial arts and what it's actually like to try and be a fighter and to strive for greatness and to you know make a full-time career out of it, it was also a really cool and really interesting read for a number of other reasons as well. For one, Ryan pulls no punches as he writes. He's not exactly trying to impress people with his hyper-elegant Shakespearean English. He just writes in simple, straightforward English and just tells you how it is and tells you everything that he went through. You know, my man wasn't trying to like glorify himself or make himself out to be anything bigger than what he is, which is Ryan Bow, And which, as far as I'm concerned, is big enough. Beyond that, if you're one of those people who's interested in coming to Japan, either just for the martial arts or for, you know, the cultural reasons or whatever, Ryan's book also has a lot of really interesting anecdotes about what it's like to live in Japan and what it's like to actually train here as a fighter. Actually, I can't say here because I'm in Michigan at the moment. But y'all know what I'm trying to say. So in summation, I would recommend this book to three groups of people. One, anybody who loves MMA, either because you do it or because you follow it. If you follow it, like I said, you probably know who he is anyway. And if for whatever reason you don't know who he is, you absolutely know all of the people who he trained with or trained under and a lot of the arenas that he's fought in. So it's really, really cool to see all of his experiences as he was working his way through these things. And, you know, just t speaking about the people that he's trained under and, and what kind of training regiment they had and what it's like to try and fight when you're dealing with time lag going from country to country and just all this stuff. Number two, I would also recommend this book for anyone who's interested in coming to Japan because Ryan saw Japan really as it is. He experienced all the good stuff, he experienced all the bad stuff, and it's right there in his book. And number three, I would really recommend this book to anyone who simply wants to read about an amazing guy who had an amazing journey because that's what Ryan is and that's what he had and what he did. You know, I myself am a little bit more on the traditional side of martial arts than the mixed martial arts side, but even so, I already knew who Ryan was and already had my respect for him. But after having a chance to read his book and read about everything that he went through to get to where he is, my respect for the guy just skyrocketed, to be honest. Even if you're not into MMA or martial arts in general, it was still a really heartfelt read simply to see his experience and to kind of go through these experiences with him vicariously as you read. So, again, Tunnel Visions. Check it out. You can get it on Amazon if you're interested. This is Chuck. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Yosh!